Well now, folks, I think what I'd better do is think about the eye, because until we got the eye, we can't really finish the surround of the eye off. So that's the next thing we're going to be doing. And the thing to do when we start, as you know, is the white of the eye. Now, not only have we got the white of the eye, but if you look at the photograph, you can see we've got the white of the eye. We've got two light, one there and one there. And we've got one over here. Uh, on this eye over here, we haven't got any white showing around the iris but here we have so I'm going to put that in don't get this too many times it's only when the dog's got his eyes open quite wide that you actually do see this white so there we are we've got one there now let's put another one in there and one over here okay and the next thing we're going to do is put in the um, now we've got to be careful here I normally put in in fact I will put in the ochre but I'm going to put a little bit of ivory before we start there there's a little bit of ivory there a little bit of ivory there and the reason I do that is because when I put the ochre which I'm going to put in now um, I've got something to work with it it's otherwise this would be too harsh it's all right if you're going round the outside, which I'm now going to do round here, because we're making that darker, but that area there needs to be lighter. So by putting the ivory in, gives me a chance to create that effect. Otherwise, it would look like that, and that would be too hard. I've got to go round there. This is tricky, isn't it? Go around there. I've got the pupil there, so I can't go around that one at the minute. I'm going to make that darker. And that can also go on there. Now, although I've put the ochre in, 182 this is, I actually want it to be richer than that. So, uh, shall I put 186 or 187? Hmm, I think I might put 186 in, you know. If I hadn't used 186 at all in the picture, I wouldn't have worried about that. I'd have uh, used 187, but as I've got it in the picture, because the next colour I'm going to be using would be 283. Remember this over here? That's what I did over there. Okay. Now what I better do is do this one at the same time, because otherwise I shall forget. When I've already put the ivory in there. It's so easy to forget the colours you've used. Especially at my age. I'd have to replay it and think, what did I do there? And this is what I did. I used that and then I decided to use the 186. I don't really think it matters a great deal, I've got to be honest. But that does look okay at the moment. Now the centre of the eye is going to be 283, around that light, in fact you know, I'm not sure I've got that light in the right place, but it should be there. If you get that wrong, you can completely change the way you turn them into a boss eye dog instead. So that's that. And then same thing in here. And the reason I use the, the 283 there is because I'm also going to use it here as well. You want it to be Still leaving that light. I can always put that light back again anyway with the ivory. In fact, I might do that before I forget again. Bit of ochre too. Oh, that looks nice.
Now, I'm going to do something that I don't normally do, and that's mix the warm colours and the cool colours together. Uh, I'm going to use 181 in here on top of that. Oh, okay. It's something that you, you, as I said, you shouldn't in theory actually do it, but I can see it in, in the picture. I can see the two colours. And, and it actually does work too. You've heard me say before, you learn with every picture you do. Well, here's an example of that. We can put some black on in a minute as well. Now we also need some colour. Now the colour in there, what colour do I use? Do I use black? That's too hard, black is. So really only one colour I can think of and that is 177. Now 177 is a great colour to use on top of 283. And it's going to be virtually the whole of that. Oh, remember we've got a very dark grey surround coming in here. It's looking really good. I hope you're enjoying this. It's a it's a great picture to do. And look at the colours I've already I've got in there. A little bit, a little bit darker in there. I think just to put. It, otherwise, the lights become too prominent. Let's put a little bit of more white there. Just a little spot there. I might dull these down a little bit later. They might be just a little bit too too rich. There's my 181. Let's make that just a little spot smaller. Now that is really good. Really happy with that. Let's make that a little bit more. Now, the, now here we've got the same idea with the 177. But I want to try to leave some of the light in the eye there. I don't want to make that too dark. And now the black. But I don't think I'm going to put the black. in the darker parts. We're certainly going to have a lot of black up here eventually. Am I happy with that? I think I probably am, you know. You see, once you reach a point where you think, can I can I improve it anymore? If you say you can't, you just leave it alone and you don't touch it again. Now, that white now has got to be subdued a bit because it's too strong. So you put the grey in, like that, and then you put the white back in again. I've got a very sharp white here. What was the point of that, I hear you say? Well, it just gives it a better appearance. If you make it, if you just left it dead white, it wouldn't work out quite as well. That looks really good. Now I'm, I'm happy with that for the moment. I don't want to do any more yet. I think I'll wait until I put the surround in, which will be very soon. I might have to just do a little bit of titivation on that. I don't even know whether you can tell from here that there's a difference in shading in that pupil. You might not be able to, but there is. And now, uh, did I put the black in here? I don't think I put the black over here yet, did I? You can't do very much with this one because it's it's, it's hidden. So you kind of like, I've got to, in fact, I've got to work quite hard with that eye, that side, because it's it's very, very dark around it, which I think we better do now. So let's start off, I've, I've already put the gray in there, the 230, so now we now put the, Double three in. Two 
just there I want it to be just a little lighter so I'm going to put some white in even though it's going to virtually disappear with all the other colours and now See, when I say leave it, you can go either side of it, but you can then just interfere with that. So you still get the light. And that eventually will end up dropping down there. And this, remember, is 181, not black. We can do And then you can bring, once you do that, you can also bring that out. This is what I was talking about earlier, the fact that once you've got the eye in, you can then work on the surround. It looks a bit scrubby there, but it isn't. That's how it is. Make that a little more. There we are. And the other thing we can do, interfere with that a little bit now. I can use the white too. You don't want that to be just a solid line along there. It's got to have a... Maybe I can put... Let's see if I can uh, use the... I haven't got very much of this left to get another. we can't have the pupil too light there so now we can use the 177 the 283 and now the back which is uh, going to give us the richness nice sharp black is necessary here yeah. This is coming up very well. I'm spending more time on this than I will the other one because I want you to see it. But really, I'll advance the other one to the point where I think you ought to come back in again and show it to you. But this is the, the main eye, if you like, the one that's uh, going to be seen first. like that. It's great. Uh, 
think we can probably put in, the, I'll try the two double three, I don't want to put the light grey in here. Yeah, that, that works okay. Again, we've got the same problem here. We've got to, we've got to make sure that the pupil drops below the eye, and the danger is it wasn't doing that. I've got a feeling that I need to just bring just a little bit of grey into the uh, the um, white of the eye again. It might not seem very much, but it's enough to. I think that's good. Okay, what do I what do I think so far? I think it's quite good. Okay. Now, if I was really fussy, I can see on the picture. Let me just show you the picture again. That's the picture we've got. Now you can see we've got the two we've got the two lights there, but there is another light. I don't know whether you can see it on the photograph. Can you? It's just a almost a tracing. Let me show you. It's like that. Now, if we can pull it off. Can you see that? I hope you can on the screen. Yes, you can. Now that is quite clever. And no one probably would ever see that. You know it's there. Uh, where's my... Um... Okay, now do I need to darken around here? I probably do. Just a little more. But I think I'd be pushing my luck if I was to do very much more to that. There we go. That's a beautiful eye, that is. And and these areas here, they're, they're, they don't have to be crisp. It's better that they're not crisp. Let me just show what I mean by that. You just, just bring, just interfere with it a little bit because they don't have a line running down there. And the more attention you can give to that, the better it will be, which I think is absolutely fabulous. Okay, now I'll advance this one to the point where uh, I can bring you back in again, uh, but you don't want to see me do the whole thing again.